So, we have heard this word time and time again, healthcare. Is this supposed to be the thing that is keeping us alive or is it the institution that is continuing to cycle similar to genocide? Um, our healthcare system is failing us, people. It's killing us. The United States healthcare system is our system is ranked 37th out of 40 countries in the world. However, if you rank this system specifically by Caucasians in America, our healthcare system comes in third, meaning third out of 40. This system we invest is not only becoming a killer, it is also becoming a prime division in our society. Now, a personal story of mine, uh, a dearly beloved friend, uh, an elder of mine, Mr. Javad Jaheed, died about four months ago from H1N1 swine flu. Now, this man was a leader in the community, helped people, helped youngsters get into uh, to college. Um, he helped people who were homeless. He did a lot of things inside the community that was helping and building our community as we know it, such as the Urban Debate League. Um, his condition was like many others. What happened was there was not enough checkups uh, that, that led to an illness that was catastrophic, which could have been avoided by preventative measures. Now, in this sense, clearly single-payer health care, where one system provides health care for all, is the moral obligation that we as human beings must value. For I, my brother's keeper, the thought of I'm going to take care of those who need to be taken care of is the thing that we must install inside our brains. They are economic as well. Recently, nearly two million indignant Americans will see their health care cut or eliminated altogether. Oh, only a small number of Americans are getting the health care, the best health care, while the rest are getting none. Uh, access to health care and equality are essential to this country. Furthermore, minor checkups under single-payer health care helps to prevent catastrophic diseases that lead to the death in our communities. And it also reduces the amounts of exp expensive emergency care uh, situations that plague our economy, meaning the emergency rooms that are backed up that we see now the, at the Children's Hospital at Kaiser, those will be no more. Um, with our single-payer health care plan, emergency rooms will no longer be swamped with the problems that could have easily been prevented. Instead, it will create a system where people's health is taken more seriously from day one. The people who are usually uninsured will be insured. It is our economic and it is our moral duty to deal with the things that matter most, people's lives. Our health care is not bad, people. Our health care is actually good. But it's, the only small, it's the only a small percentage of people who are getting this great health care. We need to spread this out to people who really need it as well. Just because you don't have enough financial support for something doesn't mean that you're not obligated as a human being to be taken care of. As an American citizen, or as Americans as a whole, we should do what we, what we say we will do. Thank you. Um, so you said that health care <coughs> was terrible, uh, 37th out of 40, and then at the end of, you, at the end of your speech you said it was <coughs> good. Uh, Correction, for, I said that uh, the health care was ranked 37th out of 40 countries as a whole. Okay, but if we rank cool. that from the Caucasians that's, that's of the great, community... That's great, that's great. I wasn't, okay. I didn't really care. I had to clarify it. Um, so, <laughs> All right. at the end, when you said uh, health care was good, what did you mean? It sounds healthcare like you Healthcare is great. Are, it it's sounds just like, like you have a certain Hold on, it sounds to me great. that you're promoting racism. No, 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 I'm not promoting racism. I'm promoting that the instant... We live in a type of society where certain people have money and certain people is don't. Is health care good and or those bad? those who don't is have money... the status money, quo for health care good or bad? The status quo for health care for people who don't have money is not good. The status quo for people who do have money is great. We love health care if we have a couple dollars to pay for it. Okay. <laughs> um, all right, that's no, no further questions. All right. <laughs> Hi again. I'm Kayla Waitball. I'm a 12th grader, and I got a Skyline High. We the Negative agreed that the nation's current health care system needs to be reformed. However, the single payer system is a politically and pragmatically flawed way to fix the healthcare system. So let's see some of the reasons why the single payer healthcare reform is the wrong approach. One, the economy. Now, as we know that we are in an economic depression that is hitting us really close to home. We are losing jobs, we are losing homes. The rate of poverty and violence is increasing in our neighborhoods and it is hurting us and our youth. We are living in an insecure world more like a balance beam on a two-inch string, not that stable. 
The healthcare system is a trillion dollar business, meaning that millions of people work to provide us healthcare insurance. People like you and me keep this business alive. We are the heartbeat of it, as I will. Sadly, if we pass a single payer system, these people will lose their jobs, which will crush our already weak economy. Not only that, but trillions of dollars worth of your tax money will go to pay for other people's health care. Another reason, quality of care. The United States has the best competitive health care system in the world. We have the best doctors, we have the best hospitals, and we have the best treatments. We can virtually fix anything. Why do we have all this, you say? Because we are a competitive nation with a capitalist economy, sadly. Everything revolves around money. When doctors and hospitals compete for your business, they have an incentive to provide you with the best health care available. The most qualified doctors stay in the US because they get paid the most money. I know I would. I get paid though, I would stay here too. If the government takes over the healthcare system, these doctors won't have the incentive to work as hard and to give you the best health care available because they're just gonna get paid regardless of what they do. A checkup, okay, great. In other words, your hospital will run like the post office. No offense, but it's slow and inefficient sometimes, especially during the summer. <laughs> Lack of choice is a great reason. In America, we establish everything by choice. You choose your president, you choose what you wanna do in life and how you wanna live, just like how you choose the doctor that you're most comfortable with, a male or a female, or the one that you go to ever since you were this small. If a single payer healthcare system comes to be, you can kiss your fundamental right of choice, goodbye. Sorry. The doctors, the hospitals, and the insurance plans will all be standardized, one size fits all. And in this reality, not everything fits us. We come in all shapes, colors, sizes. The government does not know what doctors you trust or what treatments you need, only you do. And for the last and final reason, Obama. For all these reasons why President Obama does not support a single payer healthcare system. Instead, he wants to keep the functioning parts of the healthcare system working and to tune them up and to completely fix the broken ones. Thank you. All right, um, good. So, um, kiss the right of choice goodbye. Um, could you please explain how are we kissing our right of choice goodbye? You're, ch you're kissing a goodbye because you're giving up your lack of choice. Giving That's lack like of choice of what? Your lack of choice for anything. Mostly since we're talking about healthcare. We're talking about healthcare. Exactly. Pertaining so to what? If we're talking about healthcare, the doctors that you trust won't be the doctors that you trust. It will be the governmental doctors that they put in place for you to go to. You have diabetes. Yes or no, is our healthcare Kyle. system, excuse me. Uh, yes or no, is our healthcare system good? Our healthcare system is good. It's competitive. Yes or no, is our healthcare system good or well or, or is doing the, the best, as we say, since we're a competitive nation for those who are not in a uh, great financial state? Didn't I just say that we agree that it does need to be reformed? So insist that so you agree you that it's not doing well for these people who don't have money. Don't you agree as well that we need to but implement our plan? What I said was that it needs to be reformed because your single pair of health care is not working right. End of questions. Hello. Um, my name is Natasia and I'll be giving you 2AC today. The status quo on healthcare is perpetuating an unequal system that serves the ruling class and is forcing the majority of working people to settle for a system where their quality of care is determined by their financial worth. Good evening, everyone. Today's debate is an opportunity for you to destroy the private healthcare insurance system once and for all. First, I will be addressing all the ill-conceived arguments provided by my opponents in their previous speech. They began by saying that universal health care will be bad for our economy. However, universal health care can only positively impact our economy. This is due to the fact that money will be, will be better regulated in our system, and our government will no longer need to pay for emergency health care. This will mean that our government will implement preventative measures that will eliminate the need for expensive emergency care. They will cut the physical, this will cut the physical deficit burdening our economy, which will help prevent our nation from falling into a devastating depression. Moreover, capitalism in medicine is bad. 
The current healthcare system is an example of what capitalism, capitalism in medicine can do. It endorses providing limited care for individuals without insurance and encourages the increase in unnecessary care for individuals with insurance policies. Universal health care solves and eliminates these problems. Our health care system does not harm our economy. Universal health care will only stimulate it. Secondly, they move on to say that our plan lowers the quality of care. However, they fail to state that equality is what we strive for. In our Constitution, all persons are created equal. Because of this, our system will provide a chance for all individuals to have health care. To universalize the prevention of disease that blindly kills, we will not allow to individu for individuals to be rejected at the door of a hospital on the fact that we've taken too many pro bono cases today. We say no. In addition, single payer will increase the quality of care by allowing doctors to provide care based on medicine as opposed to what insurance companies say are covered. This drastically increases the quality of care. In the status quo, quality of care for many Americans is limited by the role insurance companies play in denying care. This will be eliminated by the single payer system. Finally, my opponents argue that the plan will eliminate choice. However, they fail to realize that our plan gives choice. It gives options regardless of social economical status, racial backgrounds, and personal beliefs. We provide a chance for Americans of all races and all creeds to receive health care on an equal level without any form of discrimination. We provide the mother with the ailing child the opportunity to provide her child with medicine regardless of how expensive it may be. Whether it's as simple as penicillin or as complex as chemotherapy, we give that mother and her child a choice. Obama originally supported single-payer universal health care. His position has only changed recently to ensure that some form of health care is passed through a locked Congress. This current proposed health care reform will only solve for the problems in a minimal way. Universal health care will solve for our problems now and our problems in the future as well. Please side with the affirmative. Thank you. That's it. Okay, so how will universal health care benefit us? Universal health care will benefit us in multiple ways. First of all, it will eliminate our physical deficit. By eliminating our physical deficit, that will pull us out of the depression or out of the recession that we're currently in. It also will provide an opportunity for all individuals to receive equal health care. Okay, this equal great. Health care um, you said that our government will no longer be able to pay for emergency health care and that it will implement preventive measures. Can you elaborate on that? I never said that they no longer would be able to pay for this. I said that they would you no longer have to pay for this. The specific quote from my um, piece, I can pull that out for you right now. It goes on to state that our government will implement okay, preventive measures that, that will eliminate will implement the need it, for expensive emergency care. I'm telling you, this is specifically what I said. It's the best I can answer your question, so okay. that my words are. So no why hasn't twisted. this happened yet? Because it needs to happen. We're having this debate to reform an issue. Otherwise, it would be insignificant okay. for us to have this debate right now if it were not possible for the okay, audience so and the members listening to act and change our nation. Thanks. How is capitalism and medicine bad? Capitalism, capitalism in medicine is bad because if your doctors are only motivated to help you because of the money that they're receiving, they're not concerned about the person. If they are no longer concerned about the person, they don't care about you and they don't help you. They only care about the paycheck that they receive, which means that their limited health to you will be based on how much money they get. Thank you. Uh, hello? My name is Zach Seidel, I'm in the 10th grade, I go to Skyline High School, and if all goes well, in 25 years I will be a senator in Washington, D.C. <laughs> I like to think it's not funny, but... <laughs> um, but my role tonight uh, is to save you all from the travesties of single-payer health care. To pick up where my partner left off, Barack Obama, our president, does not support single-payer health care that my opponents have been advocating for tonight. Tonight, you all have the option whether to side with or against the idea of single-payer health care and whether it is good for America. Obama does not support this claim right now, and whether you support him or not, you should not either. My opponents have said that Obama used to advocate for single-payer health care, but when he became president, all of a sudden he changed his mind. What really happened in my eyes uh, is that he used to support single-payer health care until he realized that it simply would not help our nation economically and it would not drive our insurance companies technolo technologically. 
So when he got into uh, the White House, he came with a plan. And this plan will reform the health care uh, that we are all receiving t to this day. We agree that the health care right now is bad, and Obama has a plan to fix it. And his plan is not single-payer health care. His reform bill is in Congress waiting to be passed right now. If it passes, a strong regulation would be placed on insurance companies to make sure that no insurance company at any time turns down any patient uh, based on pre-existing conditions. It will create individual and employer mandates which will guarantee that any working American is insured by its employer. Finally, it creates government subsidies for people that won't be able to meet payments or insurance on insurance. This is just one of the myriad of reasons that single-payer health care is not the best option for the United States of America. Our nation deserves the best health care plan that would fit our economy, not Canada's or Germany's, where single-payer health care might be working, but our economy. Single-payer health care would not be able to deliver sufficient quality care to America due to its economy. When single-payer health care single healthcare is instated, the quality of American hospitals and the care given will deteriorate. The one single insurance company will pay fixed rates to doctors whether they try hard to solve cancer or whether they're just giving you over-the-counter drugs. My opponents said in their speeches that uh, with single-payer health care, the hospitals will not be swamped. They are right. However, the only reason that hospitals will not be swamped is because no one, absolutely no one, will want the shifty, lazily done care that will make you leave sicker than you entered. None of you or America deserves single-payer health care or the atrocities it will cause for America. Thank you. So first, how are you doing this evening? I am fantastic. I'm very happy to hear that. So I have a couple questions for you regarding your speech. You continue to talk about how um, your system requires for some individuals to pay some money. Is that correct? In order to receive health care? What do you mean? Are you saying that people would still be required to pay for health care in some instances, but other individuals would not be required yes. to pay? Yes, like your plan. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. We can have this debate later on. But yeah. moving on from that point. So since you're saying this, you're saying that certain individuals will have to provide money for their health care. Because of this, where do you expect this money to come from? Well, since health care overall will be cheaper, it will be very easy for families um, across. Where, do you have specific evidence stating that there would be cheaper funds or that it would be cheaper for individuals to receive health care this way? Uh, I brought my heart. And that's what I presented to you all. And, and you if that's not good enough, you. then nothing is. So, okay. <laughs> so, also, moving on from that, um, because of these things within the healthcare system, the problems that already exist, your plan doesn't actually change healthcare. Tom, okay. Can Thank I you. Oh, can, I don't even know okay. what the Never mind. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> The ballot should be in favor of the negative side for these reasons. Like I stated in my 1 and C, Americans care about the quality of things. The quality of cars, the quality of clothes, but most of all, the quality of medicine and healthcare insurance that we get. If it's crappy, then we're crappy. They feel that, it's, that if they're paying for it, then it should be the best it can be, and if not better, and if not better. I already know that if I'm a doctor and my patients look to me for answers, I want to be able to give them the best answer possible or even the best treatment. Even though doctors do get paid the most money in the United States thanks to our capitalist economy, they stay because of their patients and not just because of the hefty check that they get. In recent events, you have seen a lot of our doctors go down to Haiti and in recent um, earthquakes, Chile, and we just had one today, sadly. They provide medical attention to the people of those countries as well as ours. Those are caring doctors who just so happen to live comfortably with nice paychecks that I want. If they show the same compassion for those foreign countries and for the United States, then you can vote for the negative side right now on that. Like Re John Reskin said, quality is never an accident. It is always the result of an intelligent effort. 
For another reason, the economy. We cannot allow the economy to decline any further. We are already too close to the edge. Why should we push ourselves off? We, the people, are losing jobs and are going into foreclosures every day. This is only getting worse as each day passes. You, your loved ones, and even your friends are going to be in serious trouble when the healthcare system tanks and everything goes into a governmental takeover hostel. Poverty and violence rates will go up, and soon enough people will be playing doctor on themselves because it's way too expensive to pay and that they have no job to have benefits. Vote for the negative. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> um, I don't. I'm not sure what to do. All right. Right. So my, I think my mama called and she sent me on TV. All right. So. Obviously, this debate has been going on about people. The, the debate has basically came down to whether we are trying to install deceiving the people or doing for what's doing for people, doing for what people is right. Yes, I said that very well. But the debate has basically came down to whether people should be helped or not helped. In a sense that my opponent is basically is in, in a sense saying that Obama's plan should be implemented in saying that we should have capitalism in, in medicine. Obviously this is not the right thing because what you're doing is putting profit, money, material things over lives, over people who really need health. Help. Not even health. Just help. We started this country off needing help. We started everything off needing help. When people need help, there is a moral obligation to deal with that. There are stories about people who, who, who are going through these private insurance companies and, are, and things are getting marked wrong and, and breast cancer uh, surgeries that were supposed to go through never get done because they're, they're messing up in the things that they need to take care of. Um, in a sense that I can debate all day long about how uh, uh, fundamental or how, how influential, how it is going to affect our economy in the sense that we need to implement the single payer health care plan and how it is not only going to help the little man, it's going to help everybody. This is the thing. We all want the same outcome. Me and my opponents want the same outcome. So do you. You guys are watching me. We all want the same outcome. Life. This is what we're going for. Everybody deserves life. Not just the people who are rich, not just the people who have the certain amount of money that can withstand uh, to pay for this type of health care. Implementing our plan helps everybody. That is the point. That is the only point. Everything that they're saying is, is gone because everything that they're saying is not helping everybody. We can talk elegantly. We can say words that are persuasive. But if you're not helping people that need help, you're not doing your moral obligation as an American citizen and as a human being. Thank you. So uh, my opponent just mentioned a moral obligation the government has to the American people. An obligation to help the American people to get healthy and to get insured and to have a good reliable place to go to when you get sick and to be cured of your disease once you get there. I agree with this obligation, but single payer health care will not help America accomplish this feat. Single payer health care will provide Amer the American people with one choice of insurer. If the price becomes uniform for drugs, doctors would have no cash incentive for new drug development. No progress would be made in the innovative realm, yet the insurance company would be making money from its 300,824,640 clients on a consistent Monday through Sunday basis and were the capitalists. This is not right. The private insurer system, though not working fully right now, is the way to save our economy and save healthcare. It, what, it has a multiple companies that compete around the clock in a mass technological race to cure cancer and the common cold. Um, so let's think of what would happen for the single, if single payer system was enacted. Um, let's think of Medicare. Medicare has debt and 
uh, recently when they get mail, you know, they, there's a nice uh, let number next to that uh, debt. And if you like red, I guess that that will be a cool number to look at because it has a lot of zeros after it and the number amounts to $80 trillion. Single payer healthcare will get America into debt and will not help our economy. I cannot stress this enough. And it will cut funding overall uh, and it will hurt our schools and things like that. If the government has an obligation to fix America's healthcare, then it shall. But thankfully, since the government does not have an obligation to get our whole nation sick and crammed into hospitals under one insurer, we do not have the obligation to accept the single-payer health system. The lack of insurer choice will lead to the lack of care throughout America. Thank you. We must fix a broken health care system to do what's right for America and renew our economy. Individuals and businesses can no longer afford the crippling cost of health care coverage, and millions of Americans have no coverage at all. These are the words of your president himself. He recognizes this problem, and he says that now is the time to act. Prior to his presidency, as we've said repetitively, he has emphasized the significance of universal health care. Universal health care is key, but because of a locked Congress, he has to, he's working on passing the health care that they're talking about now. But today, you have an opportunity to do what's right for your nation, what's right for yourself, and what is right for every individual to have. The opportunity to have equal health care. The opportunity to be able to go into a hospital and not have to worry about paying a bill in order to receive the life-saving medicine that they need. The time is now to act. We must not act now because this is the only way that we will be able to solve for these problems. They went on in their last speech to elaborate on the fact that they say, oh, um, Doctors won't work. The reality of the matter is doctors will work. Doctors will work because their heart is in it. I would prefer to have a doctor who's working to help me because they want to save me, not because they're motivated by the zeros at the, on their paycheck. I want them to help me because they feel that I'm an American, that I'm a person who needs help, not because there's going to be more money in their bank account if they perform a certain procedure on me specifically instead of giving me the best care that they possibly could. I'm asking you to believe not just in my ability to bring about real change in Washington, I'm asking you to believe in yours. That is what Obama has said repetitively throughout his campaign. What can you do? What change can you make? He can only do so much in Washington, but if the people rise up and speak now, there is so much change that can be made in our nation. If we listen to what my opponents have said today, we would never have had the civil rights movement because Dr. King would have sat down and said that there's too much opposition for me to face in order to get something done. The time Time is act now is to act now and you must side with universal health care because we solve for all of these problems in the best way possible. Please vote for the affirmative. Thank you.